Uh, it was suggested to me um, on my Chinese manual coil winder that when they arrive packaged the uh, this these double brass wheel tensioner um, is the wrong way round. Um, this is the way round that uh, somebody in the comments section said they thought it should be. Well I don't actually agree, um, it doesn't, the tensioning doesn't work so well and on mine you cannot achieve that without um, dismantling the end of the machine, um, sort of removing all these bolts, uh, nuts and uh, taking off this chassis member and sliding this assembly out and turning it round. So I'll show you how I um, having said that, um, what this does achieve by turning it this way round is a greater uh, gap between the uh, spindle where you will have your uh, coil for winding um, and the assembly that moves left and right. So, although I don't think necessarily this is how it was intended, it is something you can do to uh, wind larger armatures. So, it's simply a matter of removing these three nuts and um, loosening this uh, lock screw at the back. You don't need to undo that large nut. Uh, that's a, a, a sort of pretensioner really for the threaded rod there. You may have to adjust that occasionally. Um, so once you remove the nuts, it's simply a question of tapping and uh, knocking the chassis out. Mount the um, machine on a block of wood so that this end is free. You have to remove the, guy, uh, the stops like that and then you might have to lift off these half nuts from the thread and this will then slide uh, off uh, once it's free um, you can slide this off. A bit difficult to do one handed but there we are you can see. So there's the unit removed this time it's come off with the, the bar uh, as well, but it, it doesn't have to, you can slide it off that bar. So it's simply a question of um, turning it round and replacing it that way round, which is the normal way round. And remember, of course, to replace the stop, which of course I forgot to do. So I had to take the side off again. Uh, it's important when you replace this bar that goes um, there that the end is flush with this end. Um, otherwise at the far end it'll touch that uh, spinning wheel and then you have to of course clamp it with the set screw. And then the job is complete. So there we are, that's it in the position that it arrived with me um, and this is how I've always used it um, which is good enough for uh, magnetos, uh, the armatures of magnetos, there's plenty of room uh, between the um, spindle uh, and these tensioners. Lots of play, uh, you can fiddle around a bit it's adjustable there. You can put washers in and shims if you like, but it doesn't seem to make too much difference. Okay, that's it.